Hi, hello, namaste. Welcome back to my channel and you're watching The Bhuvan Show. Today we are talking about KGF and its 8 unknown facts. Before getting into the topic, let's get into the history of KGF. KGF stands for Kola Goldfields. Kola Goldfields is a mining region and taluk in the Kola district of Karnataka, India. In about the 2nd century, the Gangas founded Kola and they ruled for around 1000 years and they took the title as Kovalala Puraveshwara, that means the Lord of Kola, even after they shifted the quarters to Talakadu. The records are clear that Kola came under the rule of Cholas in 1004. The huge system of Cholas gave the name Nikhali Chola Mandala to the district. So let's get into 8 unknown facts about KGF. KGF was the first city in Asia to get electrified from Shivana Samudra Falls. British mining company of Johnson, Taylor and Sons was the first mining club in the Kolar. KGF was known as Little England by the British due to its more temperate weather and landscape more similar to that of Britain. KGF was one of the major gold mines in India which was closed in 2003 for low gold deposits and is considered to be the second deepest gold mines in the world. Kolar is much older than Bangalore. Its origin going back to 2nd century AD. Gangas made Kolar the capital and ruled over Mysore, Coimbatore, Salem and travel. After the independence, the then Prime Minister Sri Jawaharlal Nehru approached the World Bank for a loan to India for its development purpose. But the World Bank denied the loan due to insufficient security. Nehru then told World Bank that India has got a valuable asset called KGF and he pledged it and hence got the loan. In the early 19th century, KGF had the highest educational institutions than any states of India. These were the facts about KGF. And guys, if you are really interested in knowing the structure of mining in Kolar gold fields, please do watch the movie called KGF in your nearest status. Guys, if you like my work, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Namaste.